What's up family? Today we have a lot of breaking news to share with you, so let's go ahead and jump into the video. Starting off with the Senate Minority Leader, Mitch McConnell, he has finally decided to go ahead and step down as the Senate Republican leader. Now, this is not going to be happening right now. This is going to be happening sometime in November as uh, he has made a great run and he pretty much had a good record while he was serving as the leader of the Republican Party. Uh, yes, Mitch McConnell is the longest serving Senate minority leader or leader uh, in history who maintained his power in the face of dramatic conflict convulsions in the Republican Party for almost two decades. He will now be stepping down from that position sometime later on this year. Now, McConnell, who just recently turned 82 years old, announced his decision yesterday in the chamber where he looked a little bit off balance uh, from his time as he continues to deal with his health conditions. Uh, yes, he is one of life's most underappreciated talents is to know when it's time to move Move on to the next chapter, he said in a statement. So uh, he said, I stand before you today to say that this will be my last term as Republican leader of the Senate. Uh, so anyways, guys, uh, we definitely want to give him his flowers while we can. Kudos to him for serving such a long time and leading the Republican Party. We saw something similar to this previously in which uh, Senate uh, Nancy Pelosi ended up uh, retiring as well. So we are now seeing some of the big wigs that have been serving for more than two to three decades are now turning away from their uh, duties. So uh, anyways, definitely wanted to take the opportunity to uh, send him our uh, prayers and uh, wish him the best of luck as he deals with his medical conditions, whatever he has at this particular time. So uh, thank you, Mitch McConnell, for your service. Uh, moving on, guys, let's go ahead and talk about what's uh, going on right now with the former president, Donald Trump. Well, uh, in regards to Illinois, they recently ruled by a judge uh, that Donald Trump is no longer able to be on the 2024 election election ballot. Uh, yes, like I said, a judge in Illinois has disqualified Trump from being on the ballot at this particular time. Now, yes, he has barred Trump from the state's Republican presidential primary ballot. Uh, he did this as of yesterday over his alleged role in the Capitol riot. This particular decision reignites the battle in Illinois to remove the former president from the ballot. Uh, yes, Cook County Circuit Judge Tracy Porter agreed with a group of Illinois voters who argued that Trump should be disqualified qualified for violating a clause of the 14th Amendment to the Constitution. Now, advocates in Illinois and across the country have argued that Trump engaged in the insurrection on January the 6th. They say that that bars him from serving as a president, again, because of a section in the 14th Amendment, which was enacted after the Civil War, blocks people from office who had engaged in insurrection after previously promising to support the Constitution. Now, this is not the first First time that we have seen him barred from a ballot for 2024, but it probably won't be the last time that we see this done as well. I believe we have about three different states going on right now that have officially barred him from being on the ballots. But of course, Donald Trump and his team are appealing those particular decisions. And uh, I'm sure he is waiting on someone to weigh in on that, such as the Supreme Court or even the state Supreme Court. Uh, so we really haven't got in any uh, direction in regards to whether or not he is going to be on those actual ballots, which is rather shocking because he is the front runner, not just only in the Republican Party, but he is the front runner of all parties. We are talking about the Republicans, the Democrats, as well as the independents, and as well as those write ins, you know, those that come in at the last minute that no one really knows about. This is going to be very interesting to see how this all plays out as uh, we continue to get closer to that time in which we are all going to be headed to uh, go and vote for someone to run this country. Now, I know me myself, I personally do not want another 80 plus year old man to be running for the next president of this country because we need someone a little bit younger. That is my opinion. And in addition to that, we have had so much trouble from these 
these two uh, knuckleheads, if you will, talking about Trump and talking about Biden, we have had enough of them and we want something different. We are tired of all this stuff that has been going on uh, for the last eight years. And uh, me, myself, guys, I am really wanting someone else as well. So what do you think? Are you looking towards one of these particular candidates, Biden or either Trump or even a write-in later? Or would you like to see someone totally different? Uh, if you do want to comment down below, but definitely there is no pressure. I'm just giving you my take on this because I am just tired of all of the things that these two knuckleheads are putting this country through. Uh, yeah, Yes, and like I said, I'm not picking sides, but I'm talking about both of them. We have experienced some crazy things going on under their administration, and we are just tired. Guys, aren't you tired? If you're tired, hit the like button down below and let me know you're tired. Uh, but anyways, I just wanted to let you know about that. But speaking of Biden and Trump, they might actually run into each other sometime later on today. And that is because they are both planning on making trips down to the Mexico border. Uh, and yes, they are going to be looking at the situation at the border in regards to these illegal immigrants or migrants coming over into the country. Uh, yes, as you can see in this particular article, Biden and Trump are both planning this particular trip. Not together, guys. They are not riding on Air Force One together, but they are planning on arriving uh, the same day. We don't know necessarily what time, but of course it's going to be around on the same day. Wouldn't that be something if they ended up arriving at the same time? But I'm sure that Secret Service uh, covering for both of them are going to organize that the best way possible. Uh, but anyways, yes, they're going to be meeting down there and trying to figure out what is going on with the nation's broken immigration system and trying to figure out what they need to do, what they need to talk about as they continue to uh, try and win over your vote for the 2024 presidential election. Uh, so anyways, yes, President Biden will be traveling to Brownsville, Texas in the Rio Grande Valley, an area that has often seen large numbers numbers of border crossings, according to the information that we have. And then in regards to Trump, it says that uh, he will be headed towards Eagle Pass, uh, which is about 325 miles away from Brownsville. So yes, they won't necessarily cross paths, uh, but anyways, they will be closer uh, to the southern border. So uh, we'll just have to see how that all plays out. I'm sure we will get a glimpse of both of them as they travel to Texas. Uh, yes, my home state. State, guys. So uh, anyways, I just wanted to give you that update. But uh, in regards to the border patrol down there in the southern border, uh, yes, they are slamming President Biden saying that this particular border visit that you are finally doing, it's kind of a little too late. Why are you just visiting right now? Because uh, your term as the president is almost coming to an end. Uh, yes, this is on Fox News, obviously. But uh, anyways, uh, it says that Border Patrol you is slamming President Biden because of his visit, saying that it is just too late. And what are you doing it for now after you've let so many individuals uh, sneak into this country and not necessarily sneak, but pretty much just walk over into this country with no strings attached? Why are you visiting the border now, President Biden? We want answers. Why is the Biden administration agreeing to this? We want answers, guys. So uh, anyways, that is what's being said right now. And uh, I will say in regards to this last particular statement, uh, yes, it could be that he is trying to look good as it is time to get people to vote for him on the next ballot. Uh, that could be very well the reason as to why he is planning a visit. I would beg the question, which I'll have to research this information, but uh, could it be that the former president, Donald Trump, announced that he was going to be visiting the border and then uh, President Biden heard the news and then Biden decided to go ahead and visit the border as well? Could that be the real reason as to why President Biden is making a visit down there. And just to give you a little bit of information, this is only the second time President Biden has visited the southern border. Uh, keep that as food for thought. So 
uh, anyways, guys, like I said, uh, things are going on. Things are going crazy right now. Immigrants are still rising into the country, especially uh, we're talking about Illinois, uh, New York, Los Angeles, California. And let's see what other states are really having a hard time right now with the influx of these uh, migrants that have come into the country. Uh, we just saw a story yesterday in which uh, they found about 80 migrants living in some unsafe area in a basement in New York underneath or uh, the basement of a furniture store. Uh, that was rather weird, but they ended up finding them and uh, they show some videos as well in which uh, they saw where administrations were coming in and giving these migrants uh, bags and bags of clothes. Uh, so, yes, because they come over with pretty much just their backpacks because they know that the United States is going to take care of them regardless of whatever happens. And I think that's the problem because we have open borders. We have people in the United States that are going to support this and just be OK with anyone coming into the country. And then obviously uh, we don't necessarily want them to wear the same clothes every single day. So uh, we provide some old clothes to them as well as provide living quarters uh, for for totally free. Why are we not providing living quarters for our homeless? Uh, we don't even have enough places in regards to shelter for our homeless, but we are providing and creating these new type of spaces for people that have just come into the country. You have never served in this country. You don't have any social security in this country. You have paid zero in taxes in this country, but yet and still you receive the same benefits of some of us in this country. Let me know what you think about that, guys. But outside of all that, uh, that's all I have for you today. And I hope all this information in this video was helpful to you today.